So, zurück, back in action sind wir am nächsten Tag und starten hier direkt mit Sektion 3, wo wir schauen, welche Liebende oder Liebendes oder was auch immer die Liebe, was sie uns bringt, was sie uns in Sektion 3 Lost Sheep bringt. Und natürlich, ob die Karen hier uns zeigt, was wahre Liebe ist. Äh, nicht, da sie nicht näher, das kann sie hier nicht. Ah, Shinsen Gummi, oh, der Dark Squad. Ah, goldene Party, so kürzt sich das. I was given the knowledge of this place when I would choose me a false vessel. But it's still a surprise to see the Caldea security organization up and running. All the different our experience coming together to face a threat that are very well to restore humanity. Well, it's all very inspiring. You know, we could uh, you really use your help too. Of course, I would never have uh, become absurd a servant if I weren't interested in helping. Truly, it is all thanks to Lord that I was given the opportunity. Not to mention that, with all these uh, fine heroic spirits, I should be able to realize my dream of an ideal world filled with love. Spirit die Liebe! Die Liebe wird euch alle erholen, äh, egal ob ihr wollt oder nicht. Hm. Opportunity. Her opportune appearance was pretty fishy, but I can't deny that she's saying all the right things now. I yeah, that's true. If it just going off looks at elegance, she could give her princess a run for her money. But whenever I look at the red outfit of hers, I always feel weirdly unsettled. And almost like it's unearthing some kind of trauma buried deep in my soul or something. You two are Lord Gilgamesh and Lord Chichelain, right? It's an honor to be here speaking with two of the greatest heroes the world has ever known. What a strange twist of fate that has brought us all here. It's as tough we are bound by unbreakable diamond chains. I assure you, you've never met them before. It's kommt wieder die Fatal Tracks hier. Anspielung, die der Max nicht versteht. Oh yes, absurdity. It's quite nerve-wracking meeting everyone for the first time like this. Maxi, Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, der Lolli Club. Happy Va Valentine's Day. Dürfen wir das denen überwünschen? Wahrscheinlich nicht, oder? It's nice to see you all hanging out together. And I see you've also got an unusual addition to your group today. Hello. Aries? Was macht denn Aries da? You're right, this is unusual. You all headed out somewhere? No. We weren't doing anything in particular. We just happened to end up together, got to talking and decided to go to the cafeteria. Well, you sure don't sound excited about it. I thought I remembered you being a little more, you know, assertive. It's a wonder how you are getting tracked around if you're gonna be all wishy-washy. Look, you wouldn't just get in the opponent do whatever they wanted in a fight, right? So why don't you try applying the same attitude to your normal life? Uh, okay. Um, by the way, Maxi, may I ask who that is? Um, does uh, this mean I can uh, come out now? Hello, nice to meet you. I'm the servant version of Armour, the God of Love. But feel free to call me Khan and treat me like an old friend. Huh? Uh. Ah. Ah. ah, it's Miss Karen! Huh, Miss Karen? So, I've met him before then. What's going on? What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here, Miss Karen? No, wait, hang on. I think uh, there's something different about her. She doesn't seem a, she does seem a lot smaller. Maybe she's kid, Miss Karen. <laughs> I can say I care for the strength of attaching kid to anything and everything. Oh, I'm sorry. So, what's all this about? You guys all know who this is already. Ah, uh, well, 
Sie was aus Coolness. Hallo, der Miss Khan war es einmal grown up, denn das one ist. Are you? Never mind. Understand now. You see, I'm a pseudo servant. Acting as a vessel for Amor the Divine Spirit. Unfortunately, I have no memories of the time we presumably spent together. Perhaps this is the version of me you met her from a different world than I am. Ah, really? And here I was excited to meet someone I knew in my original world. Mm. Oh dear, is something wrong? Um. No, nothing wrong. It's just, um... Right, of course. I knew this couldn't possibly be the case, but... For just a moment, I thought you might be Khan Fujimaru. It's all. Fujimaru. Ah, seen Miss Fujimaru. Where did that game name from? I have no way of knowing what sort of chaotic world you may have come from. But I do apologize if I inadvertently gave for you the wrong idea. Oh, no, not at all. Still, after hearing all that, there's one thing I d uh, do know. I must have been one of your favorite teachers, and you all must have admired me deeply. I can almost see it now, me smiling and happy surrounded by a group of adoring children. Children. Yes, I can almost... almost... Uh, having a little trouble picturing it after all? So it would seem. I guess my imagination is as strong as I thought. Yes, so you're not just keenly aware that there exists no universe where this, that would ever happen? Shut up! Oh! Hey! Now, where were we? Oh yes, I gave a very clear mental picture now. Yeah, this was it. I can tell you, you must have uh, respected me. I mean, this other Karen, a great deal. What a beautiful teacher and student relationship you must have had. Thank us for the rest of you too. Thank you for drawing to me your new, your new world. Not at all, um, God Karen. You're much too kind. A beautiful teacher, student relationship, huh? I definitely don't think I put it like that. She really does remind me a lot of Miss Khan, though. By the way, can I ask you what brings you to Galdia Khan? Did our master summon you here? Yeah, about that. I see. Better shadows, huh? I had no idea things like that were roaming around Caldea. Oh, so that's what's going on here. Wait, isn't that kind of a big deal? Yeah, kind of. There are not a whole lot we can do until we figure out where they're coming from after all. So we're basically just running around seeing what's up. Guess those bitter shadow things standards have that in common. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary. Oh, do you have an idea, Mew? Well, um, it's probably not a big deal. But there's a new kind of chocolate being sold here. That's uh, been all the rage lately. But it's so hard to get a hold of that everyone calls it illusion chocolate. Gotcha. That's the kind of thing where stores make up some special limited uh, edition item to drum of interest, right? Come on, Titulane. You don't have to put it like that. It may be something of the last resort, but these struggling small business need to spread the world somehow, right? At least I didn't call it a last resort. Anyway, what about this illusionary chocolate truck as you are being out of the ordinary? Well, we finally heard rumors ourselves, and we are not sure how credible they are. But they say the merchant selling the chocolate comes and goes in the blink of an eye. And that day we had a paper bag over their head, a really simple one, like they gave out the pinkies and stuff. A paper bag? The hell? No, seriously, what the hell is that all about? I do have a hard time seeing how that could have any connection to the bitter shadow incident. Are you sure it's even for someone from Kaldea? Maybe says it's probably just the Kikyun lady or someone from the Serpentverse. And they don't seem to concern at all. 
Guess it's possible to get too used to the stuff like this. <laughs> this hmm. guy seemed like they were anxious about something today, huh? Too. I wonder if that had anything to do with these bitter shadows. Oh! Did you sense something, uh, Mr. Miseries? Wouldn't be a special, really. It's more like a general feeling of unease. Aries, was it? I think I understand why this Khan Fujimaru Yenu you know, was concerned about you. It's because you, me, and Khan Fujimaru all have the same kind of secret, isn't it? So you could tell. I thought you might be able to. Then, does it mean that you also. Oh, yes. I could tell right away you have. Fabulous fashion sense! You are boldly exposing a great deal of skin, already retaining an unflappable demeanor. That is something only one attempting to offer herself to a divine domain could do. What's more, that avant-garde outfit of yours is to put it modestly utterly perfect. Can't say I saw that one coming. So you noticed. Yes, this outfit is my attempt to honor the Holy Grace Accords while complying with Kaldia's dress code. Was heißt du kalt dir das Halb nackt immer rumlaufen. <lacht> das, ist, das ist echt so, oder? So viel Klamotten darf man maximal anhaben. It's based on simple ancient Japanese clothing. And it's my way of paying my respect to outfits like Omigoro and Chaya. One of the whole routes. Das ist komplett gelogen. Es hat nichts mit kalt dir zu tun. Gib dir das kalt dir die Schuld, dass ihr alle nackt rumläuft. Du liefst schon im Event äh, Fade Rack im Rum, als das noch normal war. Also. But I still have a long way to go before I can hope to measure up my inspirations. That's... Why I sometimes inversely embarrass some of the people I came across. Does not need to be so modest. Just because society at large doesn't understand, it doesn't mean you need to hide who you are. Once went by a certain nickname, and now I think it's only right that you go by it yourself. From here on, you should call yourself the Command Go Commander Queen. But I'm not going Commando. Then again. If you of all people think I should, I suppose I could at least think about giving it a gotcha. God flash! Uh, what is it? I knew it. Yet another secret as well. It is, huh? What's going on? Hmm, this isn't really accurate, but for the time being, let's just say she's been possessed by the demon. You see, your body is only acclimated to hosting things of the na nature. The beam of light has struck you with completely loud your defense and exposed the cracks in your heart. Now, all the corrupt magic and energy floating around Caldea has been drawn to you to take advantage of them. Uh, then, you knew this would happen. Of course. Oh, and before you get angry at me, you should know that this is necessary sacrifice. Wait, that sounds like it might be someone's else catchphrase. Oh, the Chang'ung move. Let me rephrase then. Then, I had no choice. I'm exhausted, and I didn't want to run around looking for the magic energy, so I thought I'd have it come to me. Well, to you instead. And you never thought to ask me first, what kind of teacher are you? Uh, my right hand is throbbing. Everyone, please, get away from me. I can't hold it back much longer. I knew it. Just as I thought you'd react. Maxi? Now that I have possessed her, the bitter shadow has managed to partition the physical manifestation. Firing my bazooka at them now isn't going to have much effect. So I'd like all of you to neutralize Ares first. Um, what exactly do you mean by neutralize? Head her until she stops moving, obviously. That's your plan? You uh, might want to rethink their methods a little bit going forward. She's certainly not a sterling example for feather theory, is she? Even so, we still have to do what she says, at least for now. Hang in there, Ares. I promise we will save you. Wonderful. Now do this true friendship for you. I'm sure the Lord will be pleased to see the guys playing together like this, even if you do end up a bit bruised in the process. That's the whole concept of remorse just completely foreign to you. Die ist echt ganz schön böse, liebe Leute, die wird mir ganz richtig und sympathisch machen. Ich meine, ihr, dies war jetzt nicht. Das Bild steht bei mir jetzt nicht auf der Prioritätenliste ganz oben, aber... Wir wissen ja von ihrem Todesfluch. Ähm, 
Und dass ich einfach sage, okay, gut, jetzt schreibe ich den aus, so, damit, äh, damit wir dich hier plopp machen können. Das, das ist jetzt nicht so richtig äh, sympathisch, sage ich jetzt mal. Ne, mag ich nicht. So, um erstmal Scuddy. Und dann, liebe Leute, seht ihr, muss meine Boxhandschuhe auspacken. Äh, Übrigens, ich habe jetzt Angra Money um meine Party getan. Was ich eigentlich natürlich nicht machen muss, aber irgendwie würde ich ja gerne Angra ähm, Bonzi irgendwann mal bekommen in 100.000 Jahren. Und der hat in diesem Event eh Bond ab. Also, tun wir ihn einfach mal rein, liebe Leute. Und ich muss noch meine Schokolade verteilen. Ich glaube, ich gibt's. Ich wollte es eigentlich Nero geben, aber ich muss sagen, dieser 50% Anfangscharge ist natürlich geil. Und das ist natürlich mega nice, wenn ich der Space Edge da gebe. Macht Farming eigentlich dann ziemlich redundant. So, jetzt wird erstmal gescheit geboxt, liebe Leute. Der Valentin sagt: Hat keine Chance gegen Christmas Power. Das ist die wahre Macht des Weihnachts, Mann. <lacht> That's why you shouldn't mess with Santa. So, oh, boah, zwei für den dunklen Herrn. Die mögen es nie leveln, wenn man der braucht bei uns für seine Ascension. Die müssen bei uns ganz schlecht. Ganz, ganz düsteres Thema. Na, no, Kapazuka, Feuer! Thank you, Aries. Can you save it once more? And I couldn't have done it without your cooperation. Cooperation, huh? Damn, that's kind of impressive. I wonder what you gotta eat to develop a skin that thick. Ilya, I'm sorry to ask, but would you mind uh, taking her to the infirmary? Also, you should probably just stay there while you're at it. If uh, the only uh, keep us. Uh, Uh, sacrifices to the minimum. Honestly, I'm not thrilled of being mixed up in this myself, but it's too late for me to back uh, out now. Thank you, Kill. Um, good luck, I guess. Don't you die on us, are you here? Um, I don't think we have to worry about that, at least. Hmm, well, I guess I won't be able to uh, use the trick anymore. Not that I have was planning to do it again anyway. Oh really now? Mm -hmm. Don't you remember what I said about fabulous fashion sense? I really like her style, so I wouldn't ever want to put her through at the ringer more than once a day. I wonder if the original Miss Khan was like this. At any rate, that takes care of all the wicked magic energy in this area. Which, unfortunately, also means the end of our fun break hanging out with those nice girls. Still, that's a small sacrifice to make a uh, protect Valentine's Day. Now, now come on, let's continue our search. Und schauen, welchen, welche unschuldige Seele hier wir wieder stürzen werden. Nun gut, liebe Leute, ich würde sagen, an dieser Stelle machen wir jetzt erstmal wieder einen kleinen Cut. Beim nächsten Mal geht es dann weiter und dann befinden wir schon uns in Akt Nummer 4. Da würde ich sagen, bis zum nächsten Mal. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und ciao.